Welcome back everybody to Hayes Tech ROM Reviews. Uh, today we're going to go over own ROM and this is for the Nexus 6P. Um, I'm, I have to apologize to you all. Um, I've been wanting to get this out for a long time now. Um, but again, I wanted to wait until it uh, became an official. Uh, when it actually had download links for everybody. Uh, it was uh, in alpha there for a long time. Uh, I, I think it's still kind of... Um, you know, I don't really honestly know. I don't want to tell you. I think that it's kind of alpha and not really know, but it doesn't run like an alpha. Uh, it actually runs very, very well. Uh, I've had this on this 6P, or yeah, my Nexus 6P now for a couple of weeks. And the only time I've taken it off uh, was when I was testing uh, in a different ROM, um, another one of my favorites, uh, because I just wanted to see how solid this thing was and you know use it as my everyday everyday ROM and it does run great uh, as you guys can see this is 7.1.2 uh, I am running Hellscore kernel the uh, developer actually uh, doesn't mind uh, that you run different kernels he runs uh, a kernel from um, you know a, a, a custom kernel himself so uh, it does have the uh, uh, May security patch in it uh, everything's up to date um, what's really nice is if uh, we're, when you go to download this ROM, the links that are uh, in the download links section uh, actually have links to the vendor image as well. So you download the ROM, you can download the vendor image, have everything all in one, and you don't have to worry about it because that's one of the reasons I hate this phone is uh, vendor images. You know, do I have the right one? And if you don't, you get that fault, and it's it's crazy. So uh, that's uh, one nice thing about. Uh, one of the nice things about own ROM is that you can get that uh, you can get the vendor image link uh, everything that I'm aware of is under the uh, the own settings and again I've had a lot of time to play with this um, and uh, so we're gonna just go through the settings here real quick this is status bar uh, status bar icons are up first you guys can go in there and pick and choose what you want to actually show on your status bar uh, notification count uh, battery status style I've got mine on circle right now and the uh, the uh, I can't think my battery icon that I normally use uh, doesn't work on this so it'd be nice if it does hopefully somebody will get a zip around uh, so it does work uh, battery percentage if you guys want to run with it hide it um, you know inside it whatever that's where you set that up at uh, and then of course you have the uh, show Bluetooth ba uh, battery status what that is for or what what that is for what that's for is if you're running a Bluetooth device um, it'll show the Bluetooth device's battery in your status bar so you have an idea of what the battery level is in your Bluetooth device that's a pretty cool option to have uh, buttons are up next uh, there's nothing under navigation but I'm pretty sure there's going to be something coming up there soon uh, power buttons you have your end call uh, by hitting the power button uh, and then of course underneath that you have all of your power button um, options I'd like to see a little bit more under there but uh, it's typical LOS this is this is how they normally do things um, you know it, it's that's the way their uh, start menus are um, yeah I wanted to swipe over yeah uh, power buttons uh, now if you guys want to do any uh, control or want to change anything on your power menu or your your volume buttons this is going to be where you uh, uh, change that at uh, see the, this is your volume rocker uh, setup notification drawer uh, you have force expanded uh, notification and of course your disable immersive mode messages uh, next up is going to be animations I think I yeah sorry guys animations um, now first up is going to be your system wide animations if you want to mess with them that's where that's, this is where you're going to do that at I don't really mess with my system wide animations uh, I do like to run with the toast icon uh, but you guys can also mess with your toast animation if you want uh, that's going to be where you do that at uh, list view uh, this is another place where you can go crazy uh, if you want you have a list that you're scrolling, scrolling through um, uh, you can actually set that up uh, and there's uh, quite a few that you can choose from there too. Um, let me see. Power menu. This is the one that I use. Uh, right now I have mine on rotation. You guys can do, you know, you can run without it or not. I'll show you what it looks like. You press and hold it. Uh, it comes up in a, in a rotation. So that I like. Uh, swipe to the right. Uh, your quick settings, tile animations. I have mine on rotate uh, and fast. It has too fast there. I figured uh, fast, fast. 
is gonna be even faster, right? <laughs> so that's why I went with that. Um, and then, of course, you have your uh, linear. I'm under linear. You can go with the accelerate, decelerate, you know, whatever you want. Um, it's there. And you don't have to run with any animations. You can just go with the system animations if you want. Uh, let's see. Next up is going to be the recent apps. Uh, they do have a memory bar, thank God. I love that memory bar. Uh, it lets me know what where my RAM's at at any point in time when I hit the uh, when I hit this button right here. See, um, th there there's I just cleared that all out, but normally there'd be more uh, tiles there. But uh, let me go back. Okay, uh, let me see. Oh, and immersive. I'm always I always run free, uh, full screen. You guys don't have to. You can run that uh, any way you want. Uh, that's pretty much for recent uh, and the last but not least is going to be the own center now uh, this is going to be where you can go to check for updates so this is your updater app um, right there uh, this is their website you guys can go to uh, you can check out own ROM uh, what you know what devices they have by hitting this little drop down here see downloads uh, resources contact us uh, if you hit on if you go to downloads uh, this is going to be where you can uh, pretty much pick whatever device you want I noticed the Nexus 6 isn't there boy if I was if I wasn't set up for AOSP <laughs> I don't want to get uh, okay but that's where you go for that um, come on get out of there ah let me go back in here uh, let's see uh, oh, wallpapers uh, I'm gonna go drive Google Drive uh, you can download uh, their wallpapers here. It's opening in Google Drive. There we go. So, as you guys can see, there is a plethora of... Uh, ooh, ooh, some new ones. There is a plethora of wallpapers in here. Uh, you guys can pick anything you want. You're going to have to download it and then just install it like you would normally would through your uh, gallery app. Uh, I think... Ah, don't do that to me. I think I'm going to go with this one nah, I'll do it later <laughs> I'm thinking uh, and of course github uh, Google Plus community make sure you go over there if you guys decide that you know you're gonna try this wrong go over to the Google Plus community become a member um, and it's it's just an awesome place uh, uh, I always support I like to support all the ROM developers we don't have very many good ROM developers out there we got Frankie we got Mark we got uh, you know I mean there there are some out there but uh, but here's the own ROM center. Okay, guys, get off my soapbox now. <laughs> uh, let's see. Under display, I normally hit display. Um, basic, I would say. I haven't seen anything different than uh, any of the other uh, ROMs out as far as display settings go. Uh, sound settings, uh, they do have the link ring uh, ringtone and notification volumes together. Uh, I like that uh, because I don't run I don't run them linked. I like them separate. Uh, and they normally come as stock linked together so I like the fact that I can uh, unlink them and, and actually change them to whatever I want uh, under the other sound settings uh, this is what you're going to have uh, so you guys can toggle on or off whatever f features you like or don't like right now I like all the features I just toggle them off because I'm doing a video uh, I usually do hit security so we're going to go ahead and hit security quick uh, make sure you have your unknown sources sources turned on uh, and also I want to hit buttons up here because this is LOS based and it's got buttons so we want to make sure we hit that uh, you have your left-handed mode um, your show arrow keys while typing uh, button and layout uh, this is going to be where you change everything up if you want to move them out around uh, whatever uh, this is this will be where you do that at uh, then of course you can change your your actual button settings home long press you know double tap all that that's going to be where you can change that at uh, end call by power button um, some of these kind of repeat uh, from the custom settings but uh, but that's uh, under buttons um, privacy it, it is LOS so it's going to have that privacy settings in it uh, can't think of anything else we'll go ahead and just scroll down through developer options quickly let you guys see that uh, make sure you get that Android debugging turned on some to, oh and while we're speaking about Android debugging uh, sometimes security net doesn't pass sometimes not all the time sometimes just by unclicking that uh, it will be just enough 
to get your security net to uh, or your safety net to pass uh, when you're checking your security settings for um, you know running uh, whatever <laughs> magic you know how it does that um, I can't think oh it has a local terminal in it which I love that feature uh, if you guys know what a local terminal is and what you can do with it it's a very powerful tool uh, you'll know why I say I like that in a ROM uh, animations are all set at one I usually like them set at a half and I think I'm gonna go I don't know why I didn't do that before uh, and even that one at half uh, but you guys can leave it right where it's at it's fine um, I think there's a last app yeah kill uh, kill app button you know the, the last you kill the app by long pressing the uh, back button that's all the way at the bottom and that is it guys I can't think of anything else um, Again, I've been running this ROM for at least two weeks solid, uh, if not longer. Uh, ever since he decided to, since Mark decided to come back, um, they come back with a vengeance, guys. <laughs> I'm just telling you, it's a good ROM. Um, if you're an LOS fan uh, and you want simple features but solid features, this is the ROM for you. Uh, I, I'll tell you. Uh, if you liked the video, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. Uh, or that like hit that like button uh, I want to thank all of my subscribers you guys are all awesome um, and I, <laughs> I, just, I appreciate every one of you you have no clue uh, and uh, I will see you guys on the next one